Now, I know what you're thinking. Maggots are really gross. And I hear you. Even the word itself, maggot. It's harsh on the ears. As they wriggle and squirm, you can't help but get the ick. But what if you shelved that reaction just for a minute? You'd be amazed to learn that maggots might be the solution to our global food waste woes. After all, why not let the maggots do the dirty work? What do I think about maggots? I love maggots. We receive organic waste and we use that as a feedstock for our maggots. But once that's been consumed by the maggots, which is done within a week, super rapid, we end up with these beautiful big juicy grubs that are ready for harvest and they're castings that are left behind, which will go back to a soil amendment. So the insect proteins that we produce are used to feed pigs, chickens, fish, pets, all across the world. So this is dog food made with insect protein which later today we'll go to the markets and pick up some organic waste, which will eventually turn into these biscuits. Go ahead and put your makeup on. Yeah. There's a few different names that go around, but the king of crap is generally everyone's favorite. Uh, we do a lot of waste up here for the markets. On average, we'll do about probably 15 tonne a day, and organics will probably do anywhere from five to seven tonne daily. There's just way too much of this food that is being wasted. It's just being thrown out for no reason because it doesn't look good. With natural food resources diminishing and the global population just surpassing 8 billion, our planet is already stretched beyond its limits. At the same time, every year in Australia, over 15.3 million tonnes of the food we so carefully grow and produce is thrown away. Piling up and up, layers of decayed waste create small air pockets of methane that grow larger and larger. If it was a country, food waste would be the third largest greenhouse gas emitter behind the USA and China. It's getting bad, really bad, but there could be an answer. All that boils down to is a maggot what many of us would consider a simple, unsophisticated insect that's been kicking around the planet for a few hundred million years. You know, the, the, the solution's been here all along. We're going to show you how a handful of maggots can eliminate 500 kilos of waste in just five days. This is the love room. This is where the magic happens. So this is where we breathe the flies. So these are our mating cages, where the adult flies emerge and lay their eggs. That's why we call it the love room. I'm Sophia and I'm the flight mama. I make sure that everyone is happy and making love. <laughs> Yeah, I wake up every day happy to see my larvae, feed them, sing songs, dance around, crawl around. <laughs> when I say I'm the fly mama or insect researcher, people don't really understand. But when I explain the whole story, they are like, wow, I want to meet your babies. Black soldier flies in particular are a little bit different in that unlike most flies, like the house fly. They are really friendly, so they are not pests, they are not invasive to Australia, they don't bite. They actually like humans, I suppose. So this is the organic waste that we picked up from the canning markets earlier today, and it's ready to feed to our larvae. So Sophia's got some five-day-old larvae, and they're ready to churn through this over the next week maybe 30, 40,000 insects in that small little jar. They grow about 10,000 times their weight from hatch to harvest in 12 days. Uh, so imagine hatching an egg into an eight ton chook in about two weeks. Yeah, so all of this waste is really great for the insects. Um, they love it, they love fruit and veg. There's some bread waste in there that they'll rip through. Um, so yeah, we'll see some massive growth in the next week on these little guys. Pretty luxe dinner. Very luxe dinner. Um, it's kind of criminal how much food gets wasted in the system. 
and, and what we feed to our insects sometimes. But luckily, we've given this waste a purpose. Unfortunately, the current model of food supply is a one-way street. Maggot farming is a way to close the loop, creating a circular economy by upcycling the resources that we already have. Maggots breaking down food has been done forever. We're simply replicating what has been happening in nature for eternity. Composting reduces waste by 60% over three months, whereas maggots can break down 90% in just five days, sending the growth of CO2 to a grinding halt. Yeah, so a week ago we collected some organic waste from the canning markets and we seeded them with five-day-old larvae. And now they've churned through that over the last week and now we're left with a tub full of very big, fat, juicy grubs. So now these maggots will go off to be processed into protein and fat for pets and fish. Fish, you say? One of our neighbours has the best trout and I'm talking huge trout. If my neighbour finds a dead animal, he'll put it straight to use. So he'll hang it up from a tree over the dam and then all the flies will come in and then they start to create the maggots. The maggots fall into the water. The trout come along, eat those juicy big maggots and they grow so huge. The trout was absolutely sensational. It was, it was almost like a smoked salmon. It had, it was so oily and creamy and it was, it was like another fish altogether. It wasn't just a damn trout, it was a damn bloody good trout. I think I want people to take away from this that there are real tangible solutions to some of the biggest sustainability and climate change challenges that we have. There is so much cool technology and, and process solutions out there and it's going to be a really fun decade. I think we'll see a huge turnaround. The maggot movement is coming and it's time we paid attention. So talk to your mates about maggots. Ask around. Look for insect meal on the shelves. Find out what happens to the waste that you produce every day. We can all do our part. But you tell me, have we changed your perception on maggots? and how much they can bring to the table.